Welcome back to the Angel Clark Show on Radio Freedom US, Freedom from the FCC. Look, I managed to keep Catherine Dill for just a few more minutes, um, and I was I was talking to her through the commercial break, basically apologizing for the fact uh, that that I was keeping her for longer than I had planned. And she let me know this little secret because I realized, all right, I realized this is the first time that she's been on my show. So since this is the first time she's been on my show, many of you may not know much of her background. Um, so, Catherine, can I can I get you to, to tell me what you just said again? Oh, well, I used to be a neocon, <laughs> like all through college. <laughs> I'm sorry. Probably until about age 22, 23. I was, I was a hardcore, just neocon. I loved George Bush. I thought he was like Oh, no. Did you just say that? Like, wow. Like, it's. It was awful. I, I like like one of my dreams came true when I met Rudy Giuliani. Oh no! <laughs> I'm oh. not even kidding. <laughs> and it's so funny because because like two months after I woke up, um, I I was actually at a, a convention center protesting Rudy Giuliani, and I was just like, my how things have changed. Like I, I was know, so right? excited to meet this man, and now turned. I'm standing outside of a building screaming through a bullhorn at him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe the things that you, you just said that you loved George Bush. And, and, but I also like the terminology that you use after I woke up because, you see, I, I've seen a lot of people say uh, what they say is, you know, if you're, if you're 20 and you're a Democrat, uh, then you have passion or something. And then, you know, but if you're 40 and you're a Republican, then you've got brains. Like they, they imply that uh, as you grow older, you're supposed to evolve into this uh, Republican uh, concept, this Republican frame of mind. Uh, and, and it seems to me that what happened to you is you grew out of the neocon frame of mind and into right. an actual liberty frame of mind. And I, I exactly, <laughs> I would love to make a poster of that. You know, like not not the uh, yeah. like like if you're if you're 20 and you're a neocon, then you've got uh, uh, you've got parents. And if you're if you're yeah, 25, right? <laughs> if you're 25 and a liberty <laughs> activist, then you've got brains. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's exactly what happened. It was just I, I, I. What what happened was I actually was at a a, a dinner, and George Bush was speaking at the dinner, and he started uh, talking about how much we needed the bailouts, and no. I was legitimately confused. Like I, I couldn't believe he was saying this, and then I realized, and I know this sounds insanely dumb, but I realized, oh my gosh, Republicans can be bad too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I honestly had no idea. I, I kid you not. I thought they could do no wrong. Well, because you're and, you're, and, you're grown a, a lot. Were your parents Republicans? Um, I feel like we're no. having an intervention here. Uh, <laughs> but, but I, um, yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah, I think that probably most of my family is is definitely you know Republican. Um, uh, George Bush, like like at, at the family reunions, it's definitely a, a Republican. Um, uh, demographic. Yeah, you, you know what was weird for me? I actually just found out that my dad is a Republican. My whole life, I thought he was a Democrat. I found out like six months ago he was a Republican. I was like, wow. Oh, wow. I, I know, right? Like, I, I I'm like 27. I probably should have known that like a while ago. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but, but um, so so you you kind of grew up feeling maybe all right. Maybe you didn't realize it, but you were you were kind of indoctrinated. That uh, the the people that controlling this, that were controlling the system, um, well, they they can't make mistakes. I I, I mean it, it, that that's kind of what it seems seemed like. And well, it's it just it's it's just frightening um, that I mean like they can take a, a normal person like a person who I mean it's not like I would ever you know wish violence or or, or harm upon you know like a normal person but it's like they they take you know someone like me and and make them believe these things uh, to uh, to be moral and like call it something different than what it is and and you have just normal people supporting very very bad things and it, and yeah. to me that was frightening because like i remember uh, like like um when i was in you know college republicans and in uh, oh. In college, I literally thought that anti-war protesters should be arrested because they're putting our troops in danger. 
Oh, no, really? They got you, know, you on like, that I, line? I, I was that bad. And just to think that, like, that, like, I, I would support something like that, it, it's just, it's just so frightening. No, to no, think, you know what, like, though? They're, how they're... powerful the media can be and how, how, yeah. how, how much, like, you really have to just un, unlock yourself from, from the media and from the propaganda because it is, it is very powerful. And, and I mean, the, the same thing happened in, you know, Nazi Germany. I mean, it's not, I, I'm pretty sure that, that you know, 90% of, of the population weren't, like, disgusting, evil people, but yet they were supporting this just horrible regime um, because of propaganda. Yeah, well, and, and everyone thinks that they're, they're, they're so above it, but it's like, it really is, it really is powerful and it yeah. really... They that helped perpetuate the system. Consequences. They they helped per, they helped perpetuate the system while while, while exactly. not even not even realizing it. It's like it's like the the people that say the Westboro Baptist Church protesters should be stopped from protesting. It should be illegal for them to protest. And it's like, look, I That's I don't right. agree with what they're saying, but this they they have every right to say it because guess what? I have every right to say what I want right next to them, and, and that yeah, that and, those rights can't and, be and taken the thing away. Of it is, is that is that um. And they're, they're basically because because they're they're probably most known for protesting uh, soldiers' funerals, and and it's like people who want these uh, that church shut down or, or, or their their ability to protest taken away. Um, it's almost like they're they're saying like their soldier family member who you know supposedly died for our freedoms. They're honoring their life by taking those freedoms away. Yeah, it was it was all for nothing, basically. Yeah it, yeah, it 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 like negates itself right there, and they don't yeah, even it realize it. it. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. So tell me, tell me what happened. What else happened after you woke up? Uh, where where did you get started uh, doing activism, and how did you realize, uh, at, for instance, that that you needed to sell lemonade this day? Wait, how did I realize what <laughs> that, that you needed to sell lemonade that day? Oh well, I mean, I've I've always, I mean. Like most neocons um, are, are, you know, all for, you know, less taxes and less government, you know, regulation when it comes to, like, business and economic type stuff. So, so I've always been, you know, like like a capitalist, and, and, and it just, to me, it was so sad that that we we live in a country where, where, I mean, something so simple and just so sweet and benign as a kid setting up a lemonade stand that can't be allowed because you don't have a permit for that. And, and to me, that is such a scary and frightening slippery slope because, I mean, if you need a permit in order to sell lemonade because you might have cyanide in the lemonade, then when will it get to the point where we're not allowed to cook food in our own home? Yeah. Like, like if you're not allowed to cook food in your own private business, then why are you allowed to cook food in your own private home? You could poison your children. And see, and, 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 and it's it's an extreme it's an extreme stance, but still, it's a logical progression because they yeah. they can take it to that point. And what's to stop them if people don't act up now? Exactly. Yeah. So um, exactly. Can, can I ask? Did you expect to be arrested when you went out to sell lemonade that day? Honestly, we really didn't know um, because, Mike, for example, I mean. Uh, Eddie, Eddie Free was, it, it was his, you know, main idea. He's a, he's a really brilliant, uh, organizer. And he, he had, he had, um, you know, just, just gotten done dealing with the whole, um, you know, Jefferson Memorial Dance Party. Yeah, we situation. were at it that. Was, it was an event that he, that he had planned. Um, and, and, you know, with that one, it was like they were dancing and it's like when the cops would say, stop dancing uh, the plan was to continue dancing but like when when we're selling lemonade we had no idea like if the cop comes up is he just going to give us a ticket are they going to make us take down the stand if there's a bunch of cops standing there are people still going to come up i mean we didn't know how it was going to go or even really what the penalty was yeah. and um I, I of course knew that it was a possibility but honestly while we were out there and we had been selling for for probably about 30 minutes we were about to run out of lemonade so i honestly thought that we were going to pack up and leave and right when we were about to get ready to pack up and leave that is the point when we were arrested wow. so i was like oh 
well, I guess so that happened. <laughs> wow. So, I mean, we, we knew that, that one of several possibilities was going to happen, and that ended up being the one that, that happened. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I know what you mean, though. Uh, we went to the dance party at TJ's, and uh, when we left, you know, we stopped by my mom's house. My mom's like, don't get arrested, and I'm like, I can't, I can't I can't promise that because I we we went not knowing what would happen. It was one of those yeah. situations where all right, it, if I get arrested then I get arrested. I hope that it doesn't come to that, but uh, I I'm willing to to not stop because that's what has to happen. Right, exactly. That was pretty much our mindset our mindset. I mean, we were definitely willing to not stop. But we didn't know if it was going to even come to that or not, and it ended up coming to that. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, I understand that in just a few moments, Freedom Watch is going to come on, and I think that uh, the judge is going to be talking about your covering. He's going to be covering uh, this this case, all the all the charges being dropped. And I don't want you to miss that. I want you to know how much I appreciate you coming on and how, how amazing it is that you went out there and did this because not everyone is willing to stand up for their rights. I mean, you see you see all the time people say, oh, freedom isn't free. And, and what they're doing in many cases for the younger people is they're kind of mocking that Team America movie because it always follows with it costs right. a buck oh five. And it's like, no, it doesn't, it doesn't cost a buck oh five. It costs you actually being willing to, to stand up for your rights. Freedom really isn't right. free, but it's worth a hell of a lot more than a dollar five. Right. Yeah. Definitely. So uh, is there anything else that you want to add? You, you, I, I think you have a, a website, right, where you keep things up to date and, and occasionally post updates? Well, we have uh, LemonadeFreedom.com. Uh, that's where a lot of the... Um, you know, Lemonade stories have been posted for just updates on what's going on with this particular issue. And then um, also on Meg McLean's site, it's um, M-E-G-M-C-L-A-I-N dot com. Uh, she keeps updates with uh, the <laughs> Lemonade story. She's been updating for the story. Um, so if anyone w would like more, you know, information on what's going on, I'd probably definitely check out LemonadeFreedom.com. Awesome. Meg, thank or I'm sorry, I just called you Meg because you mentioned Meg's website. <laughs> Catherine, thank you.